Anyway, y'all, this video is going to be a little funny, to be honest with you, because I don't want to be harsh, but it's also going to be pretty sad, and I'm going to talk about it in the spiritual sense, like the individual sense at the end of the day when you got to rest your head, and like, you know, some things, one thing could happen in front of two different people, and they take it two different ways, you know, but what I was talking about is, um, like, I was in the 99 cent store, right? And when I go in there, like, man, I love it, man. I was like, thinking, man, I love my life. Like, sometimes I'm scared as fuck. Like, God damn, like, you know what I mean? Like, who I am, like, what I like enjoy doing and stuff like that. And just kind of how my life has played out and how much I've grown so far in life, you know? Despite how I look and despite my circumstances, you know? Like I said, you know, kind of like when you're a child and see other people with their families or they have a dad and such and such, you know? <laughs> Shout out to my biological father, you know, he wasn't around all the time, but you know, and like I don't know him like enough to um, be real comfortable with him and be cool, like we never had a friendship or a relationship, like people say, don't be a friend with your kid, well you gotta have a, a, a mutual understanding, a human relationship, you know, that's why it says in the Bible, you are like brother and sister in this way of life, you know, this way of living, whether it's the Bible or it's, you know, the Quran, you know, whether it's the Jewish book, you know, the Torah, there's other religions, you know, what, but what I'm just saying, um, what are we getting at here? Uh, so I, uh, anyway, I'm just, I was feeling good at the moment, right? I, still aware, you know, still, just still stoned, still worried about circumstances, you know, a vehicle, just things like that, but stone, like, like feeling good, you know, I'm grateful that my car is working, you know, it makes me think about this guy named Nico, shout out Nico, he's my friend, Richard, um, Richard Venegas, uh, best choice plumbing and repair out in Southgate, hit him up if you need him, shout out to my homie Spence, plumbing is one of the coolest trades in construction, I think they're all cool, I think like knowing just from start to finish is super cool you know the engineering all that it's dope um, you know, construction of buildings is pretty amazing something that's been there we just have to learn it you know someone created it something we're gonna learn but <coughs> nico is it miklo i think it might be a miklo or nico but he had an old van right and a great hard worker hard working dude amazing man um Paisano man, you're not the richest man, but he had this family van and the tires were always low. It looked like you could every time he's seen it, I'm sure all the time people say, Hey, your tires flat, your tires flat. But he rode his things how he rode them, you know. He had all his tools in the bag, that's why it was kinda heavy, you know. Um, shout out to him. But so I'm, i walk into this the the 99 cent store. It's always for me like the walk of guy have tattoos and stuff and you know, being you know, kind of self-conscious about myself. I feel like it's a walk of shame, you know. But it's also how I walk. And like I start thinking, like you, you have to, you're always trying to balance out, you know, humility, you know, with with your outer appearance, you know. So I'm walking into the, uh, the 99 cent store, and it was cool, you know. It, it was pretty. Uh, I, I actually at first wanted to go get my coffee, and what happens is when, when I go in, you know, usually a lot of people, they're not as a uh, positive or because I'm stoned, I can kind of feel their, God, their um, lack of patience. You know, they're just kind of within themselves and you know, they're, they're at the job, you know, maybe they're not in an open minded free space. So, so I go to the, you know, these are, are Asian people who own this donut shop where I get the coffee, you know? So, you know, who knows, you know, they look at me like, you know, sometimes maybe, you know, kind of like how the world portrays the black man in the in his community. You know, the Asian people who are the merchants in their community. Like, they look at you just. People say it's a prejudice or something, but it's just a, kind of a guard to just maybe certain things that that have happened. So, I'm just working through it. You know, uh, when I go in, I guess there was a customer before me and wanted to get a, a, a nice fresh juice. So, I'm working on my patience. Um, the, the gentleman behind the counter he's like hey, give me a second and I'm like, okay because you know other people notice you too so i'm noticing that this, this dude he's kind of like my peer you know 
this gentleman. He's waiting for his juices. The guy's making them. So I'm noticing this guy checking you out. So you also got to think about that. Like they're going to see how you react to your patients. How when, they, when someone says, oh, can you give me a second? Or when people always try to see. So I'm working on all that, you know. And so I felt good about myself. Yeah, and I was looking at the prices of the, of, you know, the pastries, you know, the drinks. And, you know, I was thinking like, you know what? When you go to like Thailand or you go to India, you know, they always have hot tea ready. Like that's what they serve with their food. You know, it's like, shout out uh, Volpe. Volpe, where are you? He always uh, shows when he's traveling. You know, you know something with tattoos limit yourself. So I hope Alan Wynn can see this. Uh, but for women, I think it's different. I think the world's could be. Um, I definitely know that they're isolating areas that are really safe to go to. But you know, there's always thievery, of course. You know, but you just got to be careful, be smart, and be humble when you go travel. You don't want to be too flashy, you know. I kind of want to seem like a poor traveler, you know? But, um, so yeah. So, where the fuck was I going? Anyway, I'm in, okay, I, so I get my coffee from the gentleman. I'm working on my patience, you know? You have to wait, you know, showing your cool side that you're, you're cool, you keep the positive conversation light. But, um, I was just hoping that they, you know, I like to give ideas too. And it's kind of, I wasn't being overbearing, but I was like, you know, you guys have any hot Thai tea? Like a chai tea? I know everything's cold. I guess Americans like shit cold, you know? I said, do you have any teas? And usually just like they have hot water and they give you a tea bag. So I was like, oh, that's what you got? And then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, nah, I want a chai tea. And then, uh, so uh, I ended up leaving, but I was in a good mood. So I walk in the 99 cent store. I'm doing my thing, you know, I always take my time, I always take my time, I like to see, I like to fill the room out, I don't know, it's kind of weird, I like to see, you know, and uh, you guys see some clips I put on my story, but, so I'm like noticing, you know, I'm noticing, oh, I got caught up, I started singing in there, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna sing, I think I noticed that this, these two people, no, I think I just got lost and they started singing, and I think the some lady and I, I noticed later but I seen two bodies come I got kind of embarrassed but they might have not heard me they didn't really make it but I just seen them so I got a little shy and I hit the cut I'm still walking around getting bread and they had a lot of shit right so I went to the, like the, to get like you know my chips for my sandwich and my unsalted uh you know the saltine crackers the little squares I get unsalted just when you get one a snack you just get a little hungry you just want to have some in you and all now you're just bored. It was good to do. It was like getting rice cakes. So then I, uh, that's when I lost my fucking uh, coffee. So I go to the avocado. Actually, actually, I went to the avocados, scoping them out, feeling people that are walking by me, you know, seeing if some, and you notice people, they come, like that's where they were going to, but you're like, you're there already. I'm like, fuck, I'm filling out for the best ones, you know, like, <laughs> the 99 is just a little crate. So first person there. So I felt a little bad about that. But then I, the person, people that I thought they were gonna go there, I looked around. They didn't go there as soon as I left, so I assumed. That I'm sure they went after. You know, everybody loves avocados. I seen a produce truck, like not too far from where I was at today. And I kind of for avocados, that's gonna be my spot now. I'm pretty sure you got, you got avocados. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But I always feel you can trust that spot. And you're kind of helping them out too. You know, it's just like a little ass truck. It opens the back, you know. And then, so fucking, uh, like I'm right there by the avocados, right? And uh, that's okay. So then that's when I, I, I'm still like unsure. I'm moving slow. I'm faded. I, I like being around people, you know, because I'm always alone. <coughs> I don't know creep shit. Like you guys seen the video? Like I seen a beautiful girl. Like, and that's my name. My reader. So I'll go back to that female right now. Should be the last thing I talk about. I have to remember, but it's gonna be a long ass video. But so what happened was, I realized I don't got my coffee no more. So then I finally, you know, retrace my steps. I go to the where the bread is at, and uh, I notice this uh, this Latina, light skinned Latina girl, and like in all, you know, you know those jumpsuits they wear, like females like to wear. Like she, she was like a hip hop chick, you know. You know, maybe like a girl, like, you know, probably, 
you know, came from a family that, you know, comes from a street background, you know, or, you know, you never know, maybe likes, likes them, those type of men, hustlers, but, you know, she could have came from a first generation, you know, she could be first generation, they just worked a lot, and that was the neighborhood they moved to, you feel me? Doesn't mean that her, you know, it could be something her family's working hard, you know, you get what I'm saying? But long story short, she looked very gorgeous, like, she, well, I think she might have had some work done. It doesn't take it away from her. And I think her body was done up. So she could have been, a, you, know, a, 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 you know, a girl that makes some money online or, you know, and or also at the clubs, you know, the gentleman's spots and all. But I noticed behind her, she's like walking fast, right? And I noticed behind her, like, a dude that, that kind of looked like could be with her, like, how do I say it? He turned out to be kind of a, like a bad bunny dude. I hate to put that on bad bunny, but you should have never let let them make that video of you like kissing somebody. You should have came out and said, I'm not gay. So I'm just saying like, he turned out like, so anyway, but he's behind her and it kind of seemed like he, like, like, like I thought she was in control. I thought like maybe she like, I don't know, I kind of felt like she, honestly, not to sound like this, but I felt like maybe she, uh, cause she was looking at me and like, like, oh shit. Like, you know, sometimes those girls that are, those, Females that maybe you know make their money online in sexual ways, it might be sexual, sexual, sexual. Those women have trouble sometimes too because you know they're always probably getting beat by their men, you know, they don't like it, they, you know, they probably have their problems with other females. You, know, you never know, like they, they might have been over sexualized at too early of an age, you feel me? And I'm um, so I'm thinking, like, fuck, she's getting me in trouble, dog. I'm like, fuck, you know, I like. She's getting me in trouble, you know, like, fuck, like, I know it's like, it looked like they were together because the way he was looking at me was like, he was noticing his bitch looking at me. I don't mean to say bitch, that's not even sound right coming out of my mouth, no. maybe in my music, but hardly really, but I do have songs that say it, but, so, it looked like, because he was walking from behind, and then like, I felt even like, because I even just looked at him, and in my head, I'm like, ah, oh, fucking, because I was like, fuck, I'm, I'm in trouble, but I looked at him, he looked like kind of like a punk dude, you know what I mean, like, not a, I don't know, you can't really tell gangbangers, but, I don't know, he just, he just, it looked like they were together, you know, it looked like they were together, you know, because they looked like they both, like, they both, there's just a certain character to people who come from, you know, tatted up, and, I might smoke bud and might like hustle, you know. I might. I don't, I don't want to label people. You get what I'm saying? Like he looked like he was like he was sagging, you know, like the short the short shirts, you know, like the short polos with like just, like skinny ass jeans and like, like a hat, like walking with the waddle. And so when they when they like I I was had the avocados. I was looking I'm like fuck, he's gonna get me in trouble. But then I'm like, I see the way he, his attitude is, and it just makes me like like like, like yeah, fuck you, you know, like in a sense like. Bro, like, bro, like, the girl's getting me in trouble in a sense, you know. So, I, sometimes I have a problem saying shit out loud, so I was, like, sizing them up. I'm like, man, I'll fucking mop them up. But at the same time, like, I say these things, but, like, I'm fucking nervous. So, I was like, did I, did I say that out loud? Or maybe I, I stared at him where he fucking felt it. Because he was kind of, like, if he, if he was going to hesitate to kind of, like, be mad at me for his girl giving me attention. But she was looking, and now, and, and anyway, so... I'm like, oh fuck, like fuck. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here now. So I'm like, I went through an aisle that, you know, I was all the way towards the back, so I went through an aisle that, that could, you know, there's nobody there, not to bother nobody, go straight through. So I, I do, and all of a sudden I'm making a left, and it's that girl again. And I'm like, fuck, I can't. It's right, right by the cash register, you know, I said, I make a left to go to the registers. I'm like, fuck, I like, can't get away from it. Uh, but he's talking to to a worker at the 99 cent store a lady like i don't know like like uh you know a lady you know a, a big girl you know but a big woman like i don't know if she, maybe like around my age right but like they don't doesn't fuck around but so i i'm, I'm reading this shit quick i see her i'm like fuck so i'm like where's the guy at you know you, you always want to like see that real quick like where's the guy at where's the guy at <laughs> so i see him talking to the lady so i'm thinking like yeah, they're arguing in here, and, and, and like, oh, they're just, he just bitching to her, or like he's making a scene, arguing with his lady. So like, I don't know. But then I, so I go in line. Then I hear a, 
You know, because I wasn't going to, like, or not go over there because he was right there talking to the lady. So I go in line, and then I hear, uh, leave her alone. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to talk to you. You're harassing her. She doesn't want to talk to you. And that's when, like, I feel like the same time I heard it, these other people around me heard it, too. And it was mostly women. And in my head, I'm like, oh, no. Like, I'm thinking, sucker punch the motherfucker. Like, already, like, take flight as soon as possible because... I, I got nervous already right away because I look around like I'm the f I'm like is this a fucking setup like this girl walking here it looked like she just straight walked in came all the way to where I was at by the avocados walked around went to the front so all this time I'm like what the fuck's going on? I started thinking that too like this is a fucking setup these people trying to catch me slipping but then I also thought like damn just to lay somebody out like that in front of all these people like it's kind of nasty you know just to lay them out like that but I think he felt me noticing that it was probably wasn't a cool thing. And then he also probably felt the energy of the room because people were like, because as soon as he said that, I'm like, and he's like, oh, I just want a number. And I'm like, what? Because he, he, I, I put my attention to him. I was afraid though, to be honest. I don't like, I'm like, get tense, you know, I get fucking, f so that's why I say, fuck it, just take off on his ass. And um, I wish you, it would, if it was in the back and it was just me and him and she would have told me something then. I would have been so afraid. I, I would have just like been super assertive, like kind of nerdy, like bro, leave her alone, bro. Like you gotta leave her alone, like like. And then it's on the fucking physical training I've been doing recently. I have to show it, but I think that would have been a fucking. That would have been a. I don't know, maybe like I would have took off for sure. Would have been like I said. Um, it was weird, bro, because. And then I was, it just fucking blew my mind what was going on. Cause like, and then like, he, he ended up leaving. Like he felt like, oh, he was about like, he felt like the room wasn't cool with that. He felt like, nah, 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 nah. Like, bro, you're harassing her. And I'm not sure if nobody saw what I saw, like in the back, like him following her. It looked like they were together, dog. But now I know why she was looking at me. She was looking at me like, but she wasn't super paniqueado, like panic. She was, uh, so I don't know where he, like now that I know, I, I forgot about it. Cause I was more like, selfish within my own because all day I'm worried about myself like I'm right here sleeping I sleep overnight at this parking lot people go hiking and people like to go hiking there's attractive women so how the fuck does that look for me sometimes I'm high I'm like oh my god these people think I'm a creep but no I'm choosing to be have an active lifestyle despite what people think about me despite having to be around insecure man despite having to fucking deal with people's thoughts about me I'm choosing this lifestyle and, uh, and it doesn't matter I'm choosing to fight against me personally doing harder drugs and even talking about this is like this is my reality I have to be saying this shit out loud like, like I'm really just even I don't I know what it seems I'm living in my truck and there's sacrifices doing that I'm sacrificing having a companion that I don't know one that that I might like you know one that I might like but I don't have a, have enough to provide that lifestyle you know Oh, fuck I was tripping out as soon as it happened so he he ends up taking off so I thought he was the problem was over so I hope it was I hope he wasn't outside creeping on it. that's what I was thinking I was driving like, you're a fucking idiot I should have I should I could have been like a hero you know what I'm saying it would have been weird but so anyway something told me to be I, I said it out loud like I said I said it out loud like that's not your man like that's not that, that's not your boyfriend I thought that was your boyfriend and she knew what I said because she said it right away that, that, that wasn't my boyfriend she said that and I'm like that shit blew my mind I went in line I got in line and I'm like I said it out loud like a lot of the percentage of my restrictions on life whether it be uh, like you know I don't know I hate feeling the insecurities in someone else right so cause I noticed it in myself so it's super cringe you know so I avoid a lot of situations you know <coughs> but this, here goes this fucking this dude had to be at least 25 I feel like you're smart enough like and what's crazy because I put something on you'll see it on one of my vlogs I put I put something on my story where I'm looking for my coffee this gorgeous lady passes by and then I so I I'm like I have to have confidence now like if I see someone attractive it's okay to introduce yourself and talk to them and see if they have somebody so this was like literally less than five minutes before like that other girl in the pink comes towards the back and like is getting fucking like follow like, literally like like this fool I think he just kept trying to ask for a number and he was super disappointed so like when he looked at me it wasn't like he had anything against me he was more like he had like that shaking his head like oh come on baby like 
Like, like you know what I mean? So I thought they were together, but but anyway, before that, that like you'll hear it on that story where where I'm like, hey, yo. I was like, damn, she's beautiful. You'll see. I was looking for my coffee. I want to tell you guys how silly I was being stoned, and simultaneously a girl comes past the aisle I was in, short, thick, beautiful. I go up to her, and as I get closer, I realize she's struggling, bro. You, you hear? I said, "What's your name?" She, she told me her name is Tina. I said, "Okay, for sure." And uh, I, I like just I kind of like I don't know. I just kind of seen. I don't know. In the video, it looks a lot different than how I felt. Like I felt like. Because as soon as I shake her hand, her hand was rough. A little rougher than I'd like a woman's hand to be, you know? But she was gorgeous, bro. But you could tell she probably grew up in the neighborhood. And I don't know, she battles with her own shit. Whatever mental stuff she got going on. Or, but a beautiful figure, dog. You know, probably has a little panza, but it was her. She was, she was thick, you know? That's why I said hi to her. I was like, you know what? If I had these thoughts, I think she's attractive. Nothing wrong talking, introducing yourself with your name, you know? And, um, and what reassured me is after this dude that I thought he was with this girl with this crazy mentality, like, and then he have, I feel like he was just with the woman who was over sexualized and like, and like probably just clings on to this insecure motherfucker. Like, literally, that's the way he was following her is like, that'll just mirror what he would do if he was with her, I think. Now that I'm thinking, this is such an astounding fucking revelation to me. So, this happens and then they end up not even being together. So, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so much of my life is worrying about other people think like you know what they think about me like so much it is and then there's guys doing it like this like don't be that guy you know ask her for a number she says no that's it that's it family just introduce yourself to her i don't know what he did like maybe his whole get down and approach like i don't i don't know what he did like maybe he should have never asked for the number never I gave my number to someone recently. She never hit me up. That's so fine. Um, but yeah, it's a, that's a. But this is a girl actually that gave me like kind of like. She kind of gave me a little bit of. I felt like she gave me a little oh, okay that maybe she'd like to get to know me a little bit more. This is someone I kept seeing at a fast food joint. So don't don't get it twisted. But, and even if you have confidence to give a girl your number when you first meet her, that's fine. But if she says no, you can't keep following. You know what I'm saying? I get it when it's your girl and you love her and you've been with her for years and just it hurts your heart so bad. You don't even bake for her. Dude, it was just kind of crazy. Like, this guy's addicted to pills or something or his ego's so big. Like, bro, like, I, dude. I was like, I ain't got a line. Like, dude, I said it out loud. I was like, it's a beautiful cash register, young cash register. She reminds me of this Ramona character in this book. Like, super tall. She's probably like 5'10" beautiful long straight hair she works as a cash register even earlier right now when i was checking out i noticed she, i don't know when she sees me <coughs> i hope i don't make her like question if she's beautiful or not because she is and so sometimes she'll sim she'll substitute that with like a with like a like a, like a frustration and all so i noticed i was like i was like uh been a long day this is talking about the cash register now been a long day she's like i just got in and i'm like I said, you gotta do something with, she's young and she has like, she had like a little bit of a, I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking about me or what caused her to be. She put her hair up like this. And I'm like, it's like she was, she was not even aware what was going on. Like the other girl, like Pink was like kind of a, be following and stuff. You know? It was kind of a thing, you know? But she kept working, she was working, so. <coughs> but, um, so it just made me think, I, I said it out loud, like, fuck, I worry so much about what people think about me. You know, I worry about what people. I worry about what people think. I worry about what people think I would do. You know, and like, it just keeps it on my mind. Like I always care. Like, like if I'm around you, I'm thinking like, man, this person thinks this about me. Person thinks this about me. Person thinks this about me. And to see that was wild. Like, like it was wild. And for me to have that confidence to like even t ask a girl like, what's your name? My name is James. And like, be that confident. Something new. And it was on, like you see it on the video, and and then for that to happen, that girl in pink, and I'm thinking like, damn, you know, this is there's this insecure motherfucker, and this is a lady, but she's like, you know, a stripper, or like a fucking sex worker, but she has this fucking, you know, gangster mentality type of dude, but like, not active, but kind of like a punk, you know, but ends up not even being her man, and I, I'm like, fuck, I, I kind of like was in a, 
like, I was like, I even told a lady in front of me, like, why do I always got to be in this position? Why do I got to be the guy? Because I was, like, the only man around. And, like, if he got crazy, like, I would look like a bitch if I didn't do nothing, you know? And, uh, so it just, like, it was kind of, it was kind of profound. Like, what did God show me? Like, you're good, James. You're good. You know, I experienced sex at an early age, too. And it, it affects you. Of course, you know. People who have always have alternative lifestyles, open relationships, you know. I think a lot of gay men suffered. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. You know, I have my soft tendencies. I was raised by women, you know. And I don't hate gay men. But I'm saying, I think a lot of gay men have struggled or over-sexualized. You feel me? I'd be hella mad at the gay community in my community. Cause like, Leave me alone. They're kind of really aggressive. The ones that really make me mad are like the, the men that I guess are quote unquote straight but lack a lot of confidence in themselves. So the, I was a young man too, you know. But I think it, lack of confidence varies from all ages, you know. Yeah, but don't be that guy. Don't follow the girl like that. Don't try to be like you're cool. Like you're already 25. It just doesn't look good. Like especially she's a. I don't know. I think he could have just. Even when he, at the point when he seen me, he could have walked away. That that lady didn't probably didn't have to tell him anything. You feel me? And it goes back to my music, you know. Like my music, it's, it's, it's always about women and it's, it's some sexual songs. So kind of get to know me a little bit, but there's a lot of good, a lot of my heart in it as well. <laughs> but so it was just a profound moment. But yeah, back to that girl. Like she was beautiful, but she was struggling. You know, I found it in her hands and. Uh, and sure enough, when I pulled out, somewhere along the main light, I was waiting, and she's coming by on a BMX bike, you know? So, I don't know if she was homeless, or, you know, she got her, you know, that family house that never moves in the, in the little neighborhood right there. It was just a crazy thing. But just, honestly, if you think a girl's beautiful, don't dwell on it. Culture, say, hey, what's your name? Look at her in the eyes. With the with the with the confidence and with the choice, she like she'll know it's a choice that you want to talk to her. Like I don't know, I don't know. Like that girl that I I introduced myself to, Tina, with the rough hands. Even though she might be homeless or she might have money or she might struggle with maybe drugs here and there, she didn't look super sprung out, bro. She might have a. Oh, personality disorder or something something that's hindering her anxiety something that's stopping her from growing or stop seeing her beauty that she's just in right there the beauty that she's in and, and honestly that girl with the pink you know the way she's like kind of how the girls are nowadays the women are desired that way you know maybe some lips done or something you know with that body you know and that style you know that baby fat style you know what I mean Looking at, she probably she, she likes hustlers she probably has some money you know probably you know stripper like I said she makes money in cash you feel what I'm saying and um I feel like who who's who's the one that's in need of more help you know like I feel like it was always constantly having those guys like that be chasing her around like that you know so and then this girl Tina rough hands you know they in the street but she has no work done she's beautiful super sweet look she looked like it you know um the other girl was very sweet too, I could tell. But I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm just thinking about those two lives. But anyway, uh, long video. Just honestly, have confidence. There's nothing wrong with asking someone their name. You actually, you feel good. You feel like a little like excitement in yourself as you feel that animalistic feeling, that attraction. Like, like yes, hey, hey you're beautiful. Look them in the eyes, and it just to appreciate the beauty that you like just standing around them. You know, just like damn. You know what I mean? That's crazy, man. At the 99 cent store. <laughs> I really did lose my coffee, dog. And then the girl walked by. So I, I, my creep status is not that creepy. You know, feel me? Peace.